what is the solubility of BAF2 in grams per liter if the KSP is 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6? So the first thing you're going to do is to write the equilibrium for the dissociation of BAF2. So that's BAF2 solid. So that's in equilibrium with its ions. So we have the barium ion, so BA2+. plus. That's aqueous plus the fluoride ion. So there are two fluoride ions because it's BAF2. Okay, so after writing the equilibrium, we, we make the I stable. So the ICE table. So as we know, solids are not included in the I stable. So let's not mind BAF2. So we don't care about BAF2. The initial for the products, we know that's zero. For change or C, for right side or the product side, we put plus S, which stands for solubility. That's for BA2 plus. And for F minus, we put plus 2S. So why 2S? Because there are two F minus. The coefficient is two. And for E, we just add I and C. So that's S and S. After doing your ice table, you need to write the KSP expression. So we know that KSP is products divided by reactants. So our products, we have Ba2+. plus. So the concentration of Ba2+, plus times the concentration of F-. minus. Don't forget to square it because there are 2F minus. Divided by the reactant, since the reactant is a solid, we don't include it in our KSP expression. So this is now our KSP expression. Next is to substitute the numbers for KSP. That's 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6. For barium 2 plus, that's S. For F minus, that's 2S squared. So on the left side, we have 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6. On the right side, S times 2S squared, that's 4S cubed. So you divide both sides by 4. So 4 cancels on the right side. So what's left on the right side is S cubed. On the left side, we have 1.7 times 10 to the negative 6 divided by 4. That is equal to 4.25 times 10 to the negative 7. Now all you have to do is to get S, you get the cube root of both sides. On the right side, the cube root of S cubed is just S. And on the left side, so the cube root of 4.25 times 10 to the negative 7, that is equal to 7 point, approximately 7.518 times 10 to the negative 3. And we know that the unit for solubility or S is molar. So again, we have our solubility, 7.518 times 10 to the negative 3 molar, or in other words, moles per liter. So moles of BAF2 per liter. So that's the molar solubility. But the question is asking us a specific unit, which is? It should be in grams per liter. So we need to convert our answer, which is in moles per liter, to grams per liter. So let's just copy our molar solubility again. That is 7.518 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. 
So we need the molar mass. So we multiply it by the molar mass of BAF2. So if you solve the molar mass of BAF2, that is equal to 175.32, around that number. So one mole of BAF2 is equivalent to 175.32 grams. So as you can see, the moles will cancel out and you're left with grams on top and liters in the denominator or grams per liter. So your answer is 7.518 times 10 to the negative 3 times 175.32. And this will give you approximately 1.32 grams per liter. This is the answer to your question.